Hi everyone, this is Bhupesh Sharma and here we are analyzing our morning shift UGC net English question paper. Here we have the literary movements and here we have their propounders and here we have to combine them correctly. So your Dadaism is related to the Tristan Tazara, that is the correct combination. Super realism is not related to the Quilene Apolliniere as he is related to the Surrealism, so a wrong combination. Surrealism's manifesto is written by the Andre Breton. A wrong combination again here because as futurism is a term which is coined by the Filippo Marinetti, he is related to this one. Again, a wrong combination. These all three are wrong. Nihilism then related to the Ivan Turgenev as he used this term in his novel called The Father and Son. So A and E are the correct one. Okay, so let's move here and find out. A and E is given here. A and E is again given here. And C and B are not the right combination. So the option given here are the wrong and question can be challenged. Okay. Then we have the next option here. The next question here. Faces along the bar cling to their average day. Right. So this this work this work is written by the W. H. Auden, September. September one. Right. This is one of his uh, poems. September one, nineteen thirty nine. Right. Awful daring of movements surrender. This work is written to the T. S. Eliot. These lines appear. What does the thunder says? What does the thunder said? In your wasteland. 1922 work wasteland this is where these lines appeared bent double like old beggar under sex bent double like a old beggar under sex these are the soldiers like benting double like a beggars right with their guns so this is uh the poem written by the wilfred owen the war poet right then we have i saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness and this is written by the ellen ginsburg hovel the poem right so the right combination we have here now let's find out here your a is iv your a is iv right so this iv have we have only here so this one is the right option okay let's move now besides being a playwright who among the following has translated homer homer was translated by the george chopman right so this answer is right here According to Roland Barthes, which of the following codes are common to all narratives? So these codes, I have also made a short video on it. You can check it out. Direct question is being asked from there. Proeritic code, semic code based on stereotypes, right? Based on the stereotypes, 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 stereotypes. Hermeneutic codes, where we do the interpretation. Where we do the interpretation symbolic code where we use the symbols proetic code where we use the sequence in the narrative to understand it right roland barthes has given these four codes b c d e four of these are right b c d e the right answer okay then we have here the pastoral allergies which one are the pastoral allergies where uh, we know the deceased person is uh, the shepherd right so your first one which is the lycidas written by the john milton right john milton this is the pastoral allergy adonis written by the pb shelley in a memory of the keats on his on his his death then we have theresius written by the arnold your matthew arnold Right, Matthew Arnold wrote this one. So these three are here. We have the pastoral allergies. Your A, C, and D are the correct one. A, C, D. All right. The correct answer is given. Let's move ahead. Which of the following theorists identifies metonymy and metaphor as two fundamental structures of language? If you have watched my video on the Russian formalism, right? If you have watched my video on the Russian formalism, so you will found this is where I have discussed these terms, and these are used by the Roman Jacobson. Roman Jacobson have used these terms, right? So 
this one is the right answer here the right answer is given all right now we have here two statements comparative literature is a study of different cultures nations and genres and it explores the inherent relationship between literature and other forms of cultural exploration that's what exactly comparative literature do because here we compare the literatures more than a one country like your germany your australia or america and that's what we do and this is the right statement in the study of literature and culture the importance of methodology is secondary i think we need a method you know before studying anything so it can be wrong right otherwise how are you going to read it like how are you going to review it you need a method right so statement one is correct statement two is false all right and for more here we have this choose the right chronological sequence of publication of the following novel by margaret edward margaret edward a canadian author we have here and i also want to tell you that your updated notes are available now we have updated update them as per this new session the way this exam was conducted we always add some new details to it so you can get access to them right you simply have to contact me on this number 9625101499 and a lot more videos are coming where i'll be helping you to crack your net in a very first go and with these study material all right now here the first work we have here the lady oracle it is published in the 1976 you you have no need to remember all these works dates you know if you just know the one date it will help you there right most of the time it will help you there then we have your oh, the the testaments which is published in the 2019 so here we have to check a and d right d should be the last one this is all no d should be, yeah here your d is the last one so this is the right option here okay well the wrong answer is given let's move ahead subramani's fantasy eaters 1988 is a collection of nine stories collection of the nine stories set in the fiji island right fiji island so this one is the right option the right answer is being given let's move ahead Which of these statements are true in the context of neuro-linguistic programming? All right, neuro in NLP means that our behavior is determined by our sensory experiences, and that's what happens there. You know your neuro, your nerve system, right? It is related to your senses, right? This is how you gather the information, right? So this one is the right here. Grammatical knowledge is not related to it at all. NLP was developed by the Richard Bandler and John Grinder. This is the right one. Neuro covers invisible thoughts and invisible physiological reaction. Yes, it does. So A, C, and D are the right one. A, C, D are the right one. Right answer is being given. Let's check out here. The heroic couplet originated. We know. who started these who created these geoffrey chaucer is called the creator of this heroic couplet right it, uh, they are written in the i am big pentameter they have 10 syllable lines that rhyme like gin gin pin pin tin tin this is how they make rhyme similar rhymes and the right answer is being given then we have here donald davy philip larkin your kingsley ms your john wayne i always you know tell you if you know even the one writer in a right way it is not about reading like you want to read donald davy i want to read john wayne no if you just know philip larkin even then you can match do you know uh, the combination here philip larkin he has written the the north ship b is 4 so let's check out where b 4 is being given look B4 is the only one option. It, it's easy. So it is not about like, sir, I want to read lot of writers. I want to read this one, this one, this. Hey, you just need to know only one writer. So if you remember what does uh, Bruce Lee says, I'm not afraid from the person who have, you know, you practice ten thousand moves, your ten thousand time. But I'm afraid of that person who have practiced the one move ten thousand times. 
and that is not a wrong or lie that is the right thing you need to apply it in your life so this one is the right option here the wrong answer is, is being given then we have who is the author of the poem the house of fame the house of fame written by Geoffrey Chaucer the world knows it the right answer is being given then we have what is the correct sequence of the following feminist texts sexuality and the politics this one is written by the Kate Millett it was her do you know it was her PhD dissertation and it was 1970 right female imagination you have no need to know just every single book here just a few even though I made a I made a shot on it you can check it out on your feminist text it is there and it is during the very very last days because I knew they will be asking these texts right female imagination your Patricia, Patricia, Mayor, Specs wrote this, right? In 1975. A room of one's own, Virginia Woolf, the world knows this. So, all we need to know is this. Correct sequence is what? E will come first for sure. E will come, E is here. Now we have uh, 1975. 1975 is Specs your C right here we have the option is given the B this is again not the right one well now we have a room of one's own this is the wrong one we we can use the elimination technique the world of difference is by the uh, your Barbara Jones right your Barbara Jones wrote this work and it was uh, written around 1984 or something so this one I think is the correct one we have here E D A C B right this option is the right one here and the right answer is given okay let's move ahead who among the following attached himself to the Earl of Nottingham's theatrical company Nottingham having a Notunky company theatrical company right I'm not making fun it makes sense here uh, Nottingham Theatrical Company. Your Christopher Marlowe was attached to it, and his Jew of Malta was performed many a time. All of his plays were performed many a times, you know, in a circle, repetitively. So, this one is the right op option here. The wrong answer is being given. Let's move ahead. Then we have here the uh, your graphic narratives, which depicts the political crisis. Amruta Patil Kari is not the one. Joey Seco, Footnotes in Gaza is the correct one. Art Spiegelman is the correct one. He made a fun of the Trump. He's an American, uh, your writer. And, and uh, that's what he has discussed in his mouse, in his moss work. These two are the correct one we have here. So it will be easy to make a right here. So B and C is the right one. The wrong answer is being given. Okay. Now we have here the another question, which is who among the following are true about the Harold Pinter? Look, Harold Pinter was born in 1930, not in 1925. This is the wrong one. He was influenced by the Samuel the Beckett Theater of Absurd. Yes, he was. Alchemist is not one of his plays, so this is the wrong one. Stanley is a character in the birthday party. Yes, he is, sir. Betrayal is a story of a married couple. Yes, it is. So, your B, D, and E are the correct ones. The right answer is to be given. Okay. Then we have here lyrical ballads, which is not true. It is the manifesto of the romantic poetry. Yes, sir, it is. It turns... English poetry away from the social and intellectual sophistication of the 17th and 18th century poetry. Yes, it did. It takes poetry out of the confines of reason and intellect to the unravished and unspoiled beauties of nature. Yes, it did. Not, isn't, you know, it did that. It is very particular about forms and structure of poem. No, it is not. It is not. It is just about you know, writing down your feelings. So this is the incorrect one and the right answer is given. 
Then we have which of these are not the forms of flash diction. Look, flash diction is written in the less words. It does not use a lot of words, a few words, right? And Drebble is the right one. Postcard fiction is the right one. Novelette is not. Short story is not. Even though it uses you know, 1000 around words, but it is not. Nano fiction is the one. So A, B and E or D can also be involved if there is the possibility. So A, B and E we will go with and the right answer is being given here. Identify the correct ones among the following. Arun Kolatka used a collect colloquial speech in his poems. Yes, he did use his colloquial language sometime. He used those words. It's the right one. Kolatka envisions abstract qualities to paint a picture of life of his own kind. Yes, he did, sir, because it's a very, you know, creative uh, qualities being written. So it, the, your writers always have that. The poem boat ride by Kolatka talks about a ride in the Ganges. This is incorrect. It is being taken in the C. It is not knowing. It is not all the time knowing this. All the options here. So you can just you know just check out the answer. Check out the options here directly instead of reading all of them. So A is right, B is right, and C is incorrect. C is incorrect. So obviously it is not the one. And uh, C is here. So it is not the correct one. We have B and D. No, A is right so this is the correct one which is the a b d the right answer is being given then we have your one is labeled as assertion okay assertion reasoning we have the marxist represent marxist marxism as a scientific account of social change yes it does marxist ideology believes that culture is a mirror of social life an artist is an engineer of the human soul. Artist is an engineer of the human soul are the word used by the Joseph Stalin. The right one. So assertion and reason are the right one here. Correct answer is being given. Let's move ahead. Which of the following concepts are associated with Brahati? Brith Hari. Brith Hari theory of Sophota. This is the, you know, a Sanskrit name. Sophota. Sophota is a, a grammatical book, right? It is the theory of, theory about the grammar, this Sophota theory. And this is where they have, have discussed the Dhoni and the Shabda Brahman, right? So C and E. Now here they are asking question from the Hindu linguists. Hindu linguist, ancient Hindu linguist, right? Ancient, ancient Hindu linguist. Really tough questions are being asked. C and E is the right one. Wrong answer is being given. J. Hills Miller, one of the leading exponents of deconstruction, makes a deconstructionist reading of which of the following poems of P. B. Shelley. Well, in the critique as a host one of the work by the J.S. Miller he talks about he the triumph of life here this is one of the last work by the P.B. Shelley and it was left unfinished right so triumph of life is the correct one the wrong answer is, is being given let's move ahead Aristotle means by the phrase language with the pleasurable accessories in his definition of tragedies yes in the sixth part of your poetics this uh, quote is being used or this statement is being used and it says a language full of rhythm and harmony a language super headed with song c and d are the correct one right c and d are the correct ones <clears throat> then we have here another assertion and reasoning question in 19th century your charlotte perkins gilman Charlotte Perkins Gilman is very famous for her short story, Yellow Wallpaper. We all have heard it, right? Yellow Wallpaper. But we never knew that such a question will be asked. And it is from the American literature. Okay. Asserted economic independence over the voting right. Yes, she did, sir. The representation of women as a power seeker was not socially acceptable in the 19th century. 
is that the reason that she put the economic independence over the political right yes it can be right so this is the right one and the wrong answer is being given so such a question are being asked from the American literature and don't worry about that don't look at these questions which are out of your reach look at always those questions which can be in your reach with a revision multiple revision revise them the limited syllabus right a certain type of notes which can cover all these important things in a certain way so you don't have to run here and there and that what my professor note Bhupesh Sharma provides you in the study material so make sure you get access to it study it stay in, in touch with me so I can analyze your whole performance and your preparation every single day or after the completion of each and every single unit okay Gayutra Bahadur which of the work is written by her Cooley woman is the work written by her the wrong answer is being given and she is the American writer right let's move ahead Salim Ali has written the the fall of sparrow all right and Jim Corbett was your British hunter he has written the my India these two options we know here and on the basis of these let's check out the answer what it can be so Salim Ali is a is 2 a is 2 here a is 2 here too B is IV B is IV only here so a is the right one and uh, the wrong answer is being given statement he who discovers no God whatever how shall he discover heroes the visible temples of God is a statement by Thomas Carlyle yes sir it is it is not that men are ill fed but that they have no pleasure in the work by which they make their bread and therefore look to wealth as the only means of pleasure is a statement by the John Ruskin yes sir it is both of these statements are correct and the correct answer is being given which writer does not belong to the angry young men movement uh, directly Seamus Hene is not the one the Irish writer do you know him digging with the pen is a poem of him very famous one the right answer is being given then we have here assertion and reasoning another another uh, question Jack Q Lacan was radically critical of the system this is not even a word it should be system this is what Google showed me about this right and Lacan was expelled from the International Psychoanalytical Association 1959 no he was expelled in the 1953 so incorrect one and here the this word is wrong so obviously this is the one we know and he why would he criticize his own psychoanalytical theory well correct one and the incorrect one R is incorrect R is false for sure right no both are not true only one option we are left here is the correct one is given in which year Miles Coverdale translated the Old Testament of the Bible it was in the 1935 all right under the net 1954 written by the Iris Murdoch right answer is being given then we have here which of these following critiques is associated with the contra puntal reading contra puntal reading is coined by the Edward Said in his work called the culture and imperialism culture and imperialism one of his work and that's where he propounded this term okay wrong answer is being given <laughs> right of passage here we have to make the you know match these from each other rights and works works of Edward Brathwaite right rights of passage written in 1967 arrivance is in 1973 a is 3 D is 1 a is 3 D is 1 is the right one it answer is a wrong one given here now let's move ahead willing to 
wound and yet afraid to strike it is the antithesis karna bhi chahte ho aur karna bhi nahi chahte it is truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of good fortune must be in want of a wife that is the irony saying something opposite that you do not mean maybe intentions this this line is is taken from your pride and prejudice right jane austen's novel though still a ravished bride of quietness bride quiet child silence time you know same same rhythm so it is a assonance where where we have the same vowel sound that is a assonance we have the same consonant sound that is a consonance and eyes must hide come floating by as green as emerald so where we have as emerald as green this is a smiley where we use like and as right where we use directly bhupesh is sun right so it is the direct comparison without using as and like and that is the metaphor okay so d is 2 d is a 2 a is a 3 d is a 2 a is a 3 d is a 2 a is a 3 right one right answer is being given which of the following observation are true about roland barth his contribution to the literary theory he rejected the model of the structural analysis of narrative he has created a model of it well let's move ahead he perceived meaning as an effect of various interconnections among linguistic codes yes he did he identified the various codes found in the process of structuralism correct one it can be he played a significant role in the in the development of semiology yes he did sir he did, he did he did so all of these seems correct here so we will go with this one no 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 he rejected no he did not reject the structural analysis he did not reject the model of structural analysis of narrative structural analysis he created the model of it so b c d is a right one wrong answer is being given right then we have stuart hall belongs to birmingham the cultural studies 1964 right this is when it was being created 1964 or 1984 Would you like to check this? I think it is most probably 1964 as much as far as I am concerned with it. All right. Where were we? We were here. Okay. Then we have here Who among the following authored the Revenge's tragedy? Your Cyril Turner is most of the time is credited with this. Even though uh all the time it is being uh, you know attached to the name of thomas middleton you will always find this this book is registered under the name of thomas middleton he is considered as the right author of it but it is also credited to the cyril turner you can uh, you can you know find this on your wikipedia too then we have deserted village why a village is being deserted poem written by the oliver goldsmith its setting is rural a village is is deserted because of the institutions people are leaving it the right option and the wrong answer is being given here let's move ahead it is significant that the productive capacities of this third space third space is without even thinking without bringing second thought into your mind third space is a term coined by the post colonialist homi ke baba right when we see such things directly go to the answer check the answer of it here and the right answer is being given okay let's move ahead Philip Sidney's Arcadia was influenced by the Spanish romance of Montemayor. Deep study is needed now. The wrong answer is being given. Gender and Nation written by the Nira Yuval Davis. 
right another one we know here is the w e b du bois who wrote the, the soul of the black folks d is 3 a is 4 d is 3 a is 4 d is 3 a is 4 this one the right one here right and the wrong answer is being given let's move ahead it find the correct explanation of the term aporia Aporia means the speaker or the character deliberation on an irresolvable questions. Means up aage badi nahi paate ho. Aap usko solution hi nahi dhund paate. Ek aisi condition hai. Kisne baat ki iski? Jax Darida ne. And the right answer is being given. This is the right one. Mina Alexander. She wrote the river and the bride, the raw silk and the stone roots. These two are the incorrect one. B and E are not written by her. The right answer is being given. Then we have here some lines. Should poets by cycle pump the human hearts or squash it flat? Men's love is of men's life a thing apart. Girls aren't like that. The above lines are written by the Kingsley MS. The wrong answer is being given. I made a shot on it, if you have checked this, on Michel Foucault. Madness and Civilization written by the Michel Foucault, not by the Roland Barthes. Identify which has not been paired correctly. This one is obviously not. It is not. It is by the Michel Foucault. Who among the following is an incomplete poem by the P.B. Shelley, The Triumph of Life, last poem, unfinished. Wrong answer is being given. match it now poetics or prose if you have watched my video of russian formalism so you will then find it out problems of dostoevsky and poetics by the mikhail bakhtin a is 2 b is 3 a is 2 b is 3 a is 2 b is 3 is the right one here and the right answer is being given Which of the following articles of the Indian Constitution made the provision for the use of English alongside Hindi for the official purposes? The question from the English in India. If you have read my professor no study material, so you would be able to answer it correctly. And it is the it is the 1343. Right? The wrong answer is being given. Who is the author of the essay Three Women's Text and a Critique of Imperialism 1985 by the Gayatri work where she discussed the three women writers work Jane Eyre, Wild Sargus C. Another work was there which was the Frankenstein, Frankenstein, Frankenstein by the Mary Shelley. Mary Shelley. These three works Frankenstein, Mary Shelley, and the Jane Eyre. Sorry, the Frankenstein, Wild Sir Gusti, Jane Eyre. These three works are being discussed in the Three Women's Text and Critique of Imperialism 1985 by the Gayatri Spee work. The right answer is being given. Women Be Aware Women is a work published in the 1657. It should be challenged. Wrong answer, not that all the wrong options are being given here. And the, and the marks will be given to all of you. So don't worry about that. Again, here the marks will be given to all of you. I think they should be given as only two poet laureates we have here. Alfred Austin and Robert Bridge. These two are not the poet laureates, sir. Right? A and B is the right one. A and B is the right one. The person did really well. He will be given the answer, I think. He will be given the number for this because he has chosen the correct one here. Right? So the right answer, even though the wrong options are given there. Now, this is your uh, work by your Fyodor. Fyodor. Dostoevsky, the German writer. Demons is the novel by him. Yes, it is. Crocodile is the short story by him. Yes, it is. Writer's Diary is the collection of essay by him. So write C, D, and A. A, C, D are the 
correct one land lady is by the roland dahl and it is a short story actually it is not the novel so it is the incorrect one right mary stewart is one of the play written by some frederick schiller uh, one of the playwright so i didn't find any translation by this name but well these are the work of the father dostoevsky a c and d a c and d a c and d a c and d no right option is being given here but c d and e negotiations can be made right we can go with this one then but c and d are the correct one but here we again have c and d b is in the correct so again the right one is not given here i do not know these questions must be challenged right these must be challenged as these works are by the father dostoevsky and and this one is not a novella this is a short story by the roland dahl so it is obviously the incorrect one crocodile by short story by him and and diary is also by him and demons novel is also by him so a c d are the correct one and there is no translation by the mary stewart c d e c d are the correct one b is incorrect the right one we can take this in but this question should also be challenged who among the following critiques appropriates the following statement by the karl marx right they cannot represent themselves they must be represented the answer is given here the kamla bhasin okay Let's move ahead. Identify the novels that were published in the 1980s and 1990s. Red Earth, Pouring Rain, written by the Vikram Chandra sir. Vikram Chandra wrote this in his 1995. The Circle of Reason, Amita Ghosh, the first novel, 1986. Ghost of the Vasu Master, Hari Haran, 1994. Migul Street, 1959 by V.S. Naipaul. So now we have this 90s, 90s, 90s. We have A90, B90, C90. D is not 90. A90, B90, C90. Yes, A90, B90, C90. D is not 90. Wrong answer is being given. Let's move ahead. the ancient and the modern quarrel so here the modern writers went against the classical writings here you know there was a struggle between them a quarrel a fight right even though jonathan swift one of the works you must have uh, read that spider and bee right there is a reference for this work right so it is being written in the uh, we can say in the 17th century that was at it was a 16th one Okay, well, there is again a confusion as the right answer should be the 17th century. The wrong answer is being given. Question should also be challenged. Well, which one to take? I think the ans the the numbers the marks will be given to all then, as the 17th century is the right one. Then we have to just fight between these two, or then we can go with the 18th. Sorry, the 20th is not obviously the right one. The 16th is the one that we can choose here because 20th is not the one. Not 15. Not this one. 16th is the correct one then right which of the following denote the three phases of literary feminism according to the allen showalter feminine where the women compare your mimic imitate the writings of men feminine period then comes your feminist they fight for their right female when they focus on the women's text so this is the chronology in this way feminine feminist and female and these three are being discussed a b a d and e a d and e a d and e right answer is being given hamlet 1600 julius caesar 1599 macbeth a othello 3 a is 4 wrong answer is being given 
Roland Barthes describes two basic categories of text as a reader lay and writer's lay. Yes, sir, he did. Language is the window, window through which one sees the world. Look, if it is a readerly text or writerly text, how? Because the language you are understanding it. Readers have their own way of understanding. And how? Their way of understanding the language. Writerly text. Writer's way of writing those words. Again, a language. Yes, sir, it is right. Both of the statements are right. Both of the statements are right. And the right answer is being given. We will go with the first one. Tolka PM is a book of grammar and poetics written in the Tamil language. Right? The right answer is being given. Anglo-Irish relations in the 20th century has been represented in which of the following novels? Elizabeth Bowen, an Anglo-Irish writer, last September. Yes, sir, it is about it. The right combination. May Sinclair, The Divine Fire. Mm -hmm. It is not. We have J.G. Farewell. Yes, it is again an uh, Anglo-Irish work. So A and C are the correct one here. And let's find out here. A and C are the only two wrong answers being given. Let's move ahead. In so far as now we have it assertion and reasoning, most of the questions and this is a good hint, a good sign, right? That this type of questions being asked because here we have to use our mind, a brain, not a ratification, but in one way it can make the exam really tough to crack. Well, everyone has their own opinions. In so far as we are taught how to read, what we engage are not texts but the paradigms. Yes, sir, these lines are said by the NAT. Colo Dene. She said this about the canon. You know, we have these Western canons, where you have a lot of things, the high place, the high level, the Western texts, Ulysses, Sons of Lovers, right? All these texts are. We have there your wasteland, these very famous, famous work. These are being, uh, you know, mentioned in the Western canon. They are not engaged with the text, but with the paradigm, the method. Right. And she said that this is the right one. We appropriate meaning from a text according to what we need or desire. Hum usi tarah se us jo book hai, usse hum meaning kis tarah se nikalte. We appropriate meaning from the text according to what we need. According to the critical assumptions of the predisposition that we bring to it. Jitna hume pata hai, jitna hume gyan hai, jis tarah se hum cheezun ko dekhna chaate hai, waisa hi to samasthe hai. Both of these are right, sir. Yes. This one is a correct one. Right answer is being given. Let's move ahead. Teaching of a non-native literature to the student of the English language teaching is arid. Arid means dry, dull, boring, non-native literature. Like for us, the English language literature is a non-native for us. For us, the native literature is the Hindi literature. To the students of the English language teaching, we students who want to learn English, do we find that non-native literature arid? No, we will find that interesting as we are learning the English and we are being told if you read the books, your English will be improved. So we find it interesting. We want to know about it. I think the statement is not correct. What do you say? The negative responses in ELT classroom can create an interesting classroom situation. I think if someone does wrong, then an interesting mood will be made. Right? So, yeah. Correct one and correct one. And both of these statements, I think this is a wrong one. And here, this is open for debate. <coughs> the writer and the world by V.S. Naipaul is a collection of the essays. Collection of the essays about his traveling. Right. But it is the essays. It's even though it's subtitle is essays. Right. So the collection of the essays is the right one. The wrong answer is being given. And let's move ahead. Statement one. According to the W.H. Auden, the importance of being earnest is the purest example in the English literature of a verbal opera. Yes, sir. He said that. Oscar Wilde possessed profound insight into the range of the art that is in the combined form make theater performance possible. Yes, yes, yes. Both of these are true. Both of these are true. Right answer is being given. 
tractarian movement or should we call it oxford movement it was in the oxford right it was widespread across the world no sir it was not it it was only in the oxford so a is incorrect here a is incorrect here we are using the elimination technique all right we need to find another one then john cable begin the movement begin with the sermon by the john cable in 1833 yes begin sir Pusey gave the movement cohesion fame and name he did sir the ideal of the christian church was praised by oxford convocation the ideal of the christian church was a book and it was condemned so this is not the right one e is not the right one e is not the right one this is the right one right answer is being given who said there is there can be and there ought to be the difference between the language of prose and metrical composition he was st coleridge right answer is being given <clears throat> <clears throat> Consumerism is a major theme in which the following works. In which work we have consumerism. Death of a salesman is the one we know at the very beginning. American Dream, it talks about they have taken things on loan and now Willie Lowman, Willie Lowman, he has a will but a low man, but does not work for those wills. Willie Lowman. This is the one we know. It is about consumerism, buying things, just buying, purchasing, purchasing more than you need just for the sake of showing off. C is the right one. C is not here. C is not here. C is here. So this is automatically right one. Obviously the right one. Automatically the right one. <clears throat> to the lighthouse. Sons and lovers we know, 1913. I have made a video on it. Right, maybe you find that very rhetorical. <laughs> okay, Finnegan Wakes, 1939, James Joyce work, Wasteland, 1927. Obviously, now it will be A is 2. A is 2. The right one. Right answer is being given. <clears throat> Haruki Murakami Ikagai. You remember this guy? He wrote that novel, Ikagai. 2014 it is published, sir. Yes, sir. Women, Men Without Women is published in the 2014. Right, so this is the right answer. Plato's main objections against poetry. The poet is an imitator. Yes, he said that. The poet is incapable of bravery. I think they... Not that much sure not the hundred percent surety sometime the poet by fueling passions and emotions weakens the reasoning capacity of the citizen yes he said that a and c we know they are the poet has no knowledge of the world no incorrect right so a and c are the correct a and C are the correct. The poet has no knowledge of the world. Incorrect. The poet is incapable of bravery. This poet does not have the bravery. He does not talk about this manliness there. But these two, I am very much sure. A and C. The poet is incapable of bravery. When someone reads their work, you know they lose the bravery because it talks about passions emotion very deep emotions right and uh, so people get emotional you know so they do not remain brave anymore okay so now a and e is not so a and b is the right one here then But did he say that it is again open for your debate? The Boyfriend is a work by the Juliet Banerjee, right? Then we have here The Other Women's and the Other Stories by the Dina Mehta. 
she is also famous for brides are not for burning jalane ke liye nahi hai bahue theek hai so c is a right match a is a right match a and c are the right match let's find a and c are the right match a c is also given here okay the yankee and the yogi written by the bg siddhartha a c and d right one right answer is being given now this is the trilogy by the vs naipaul called the india which contains your an area of darkness 1964 wounded civilization is another one a house of for mr bishwas is in 1961 work and million of mutinies is in 1919 this is the last work of it and this what i'm sure and wounded civilization is 1970 so first one is the house of mr bishwas which is here which is here too million mutinies in 1990 and this is in 1961 all right all fell at the right place now and so this one is the right one okay then we have here kimberley crenshaw's term intersectionality intersectionality says that everyone has their own experience of discrimination everyone is discriminated in their own way not only on the basis of caste but class creed color gender right your your physical incapabilities so where it is being used racial justice yes your complex construction of power you know on the on the basis of a discrimination one is considered as a powerful another one is a weaker one identity politics you have your own identity you are being given the certain identities due to this if you are black so you will be considered in this way you will be seen in this way you start seeing you in that way you have your different identity in the society then so these are the things which are being affected by this right b d e the right one wrong answer is being given then alfred tennyson in the following lines yet i doubt not through the ages one increasing purpose runs and the thoughts of men are widened with the process of suns okay now let me tell you during this time alfred tennyson time it is the victorian era where people are lot fighting with their faith because now science is coming into existence before this they believe that a man is born from the blessing of the jesus you know there is a light coming from the hand of jesus and that entered the mother's womb but the moment the species on the species this is the work right 18 sorry i'm really really sorry this is ugly to do 1859 this work got published and that's the place this is the time when people realize oh this is how we came into existence right unka faith dagmagaya their faith was shaken believe in the god in the heaven all these concepts yet i doubt not through the ages one increasing purpose runs umar ke saath saath yet i doubt not through the ages one increasing purpose aapka koi purpose hai through the ages ab doubt hone laga hai wo purpose wo same raha hai kya aapke paas and the thought of men are widened with the process of suns process of suns zyada samay jitna zyada samay hoga thought of men ab utna zyada buddhiman banenge wise banenge these are the reflection upon the evolutionary faith victorian era mein aisa hua tha isiliye alfred lord tennyson ka jo work hai lady of shellet your your lady of shellet there she is inside the doom a castle she cannot come outside because the outside world is being changed bahut khatarnak hai aap aap mar bhi sakte hain the moment she came out she died right because now they are finding finding the security because this new world is not secure the faith belief in religion in the god it is vanished the life has become so practical so technical 
right which of these are correct combination of the work by doris lessings and their respective themes the golden book notebook about the anna wolf protagonist a divorced lady and having the writer's blog this is obviously not the right combination here good terrorist mm -hmm. shikasta is a persian word persian word which means uh broken right shikasta and uh, this word is used for the earth planet here by the doris lessing so this is the correct combination here alfred and emily is a book about the about the doris lessing's uh, experiences and the life of her parents right right combination grass is singing rhodesia right southern rhodesia is the place where she was born and brought up zimbabwe the country in your africa this is drawn from experiences in africa this is the right combination here southern rhodesia that's where she lived in her early uh, early age doris lessing so these three are the correctly matched here c d and e correct answer is being given literature of their own ellen showalter sir the right one we all know this the world know this fleshly school who among the following in the article fleshly school of poetry attacked the pre-raphaelite especially dz rossetti so fleshly school of poetry is written by the robert bushnan right robert bushnan and the right answer is being given here you just have to remember the name there is no concept there is no like logic behind this or subjective thing you just have to mug it up hannah renditz defactualization is a very close to the concept of post-truth post-truth means where facts do not work but emotions neta log dekhe doston bhaiyon behno all that stuff post-truth relies on absolute lies लाइज ही होते हैं झूठे ही होते हैं वो टेम्प्ररी वादे जो किए जाते हैं है ना हा ना हा एरेंडर्स डिफेक्चुअलाइजेशन इज वेरी क्लोज यस सर इट इज इट इज बोथ ऑफ दी स्टेटमेंट्स आर राइट ओके रॉन्ग आंसर इज बीइंग गिवन देन व्हिच अमंग द फॉलोइंग आर अप्रोप्रिएट अबाउट लैटिन अमेरिकन लिटरेचर लैटिनो there has been racial coherence and unity in literary representation of latin america yes there is latin american literary tradition draws analogy between plant growth and human movement analogy means similarity between the plant growth and human movement plant growth ke saath saath hi human movement bhi hua hai gabriel garcia work 100 years of solitude this is where we get this concept to see two the right one then the zool poor short story depicts the geography of the chillam balam towns right it is the right quenchua is the brand i don't think so it has anything to do with this but quenchua let me tell you this is also a a uh, short stories written by one of the writers from the uh, latin america you can do research on it yourself too latin american literature is a unitary and refrain from intertextuality intertextuality se aap refrain kaise kar sakte hain har ek book dusri book ko reference deti hai you try to understand the another book from this another book ek kitab ko aap dusri kitab ke madhyam se padhte hain like aap ek fark padhta hai jis tarah se aapne ek kitab padhi aap usi nazariye se dusri book ko bhi padhte hain because aapko yahan se gyan prapti hui aap us gyan prapti ka implementation yahan pe karte ho aur ye har jagah ho sakta hai right so the right one here are the a is the correct one b is the correct one c is the correct one a b c is the correct one a b c is the correct one a b c is the correct one e then we have right b is correct one c is correct one e is correct one this is the correct one then this is the wrong one but let me tell you they have given the wrong options man Quenchua had a wider popularity and presence across different nations. Quenchua is a short story, but it is has its presence across the nation that we cannot say certainly. Well, we can go with this one then. The wrong answer is given then. What is 
meant by corporate author whose name does not appear in the publishing work but the institution's name a work produced by an institution an association or government agency right one a writer who uh, writes on matter of the corporate affairs yes they write but this is the one they write for institutions and their name is not mentioned in the publishing work right so it comes like a niti ayog ki koi report hai to niti ayog ki taraf se hi aati hai theek hai to ye correct one hai ye fir incorrect one hua us tarike se canadian multiculturalism theek hai ye questions open hote hain debate ke liye aap is pe research kar sakte ho theek hai as per my research i found this aapki research ke mutabik kuch aur ho sakta hai theek hai कनेडियन मल्टी कल्चरिज्म एक्ट वॉज पास इन दर अरेस्ट हम फिर आंसर की के साथ जाते हैं जब बात नहीं बैठती है सीधी तो कनेडियन मल्टी कल्चरिज्म एक्ट वॉज पास इन दिन रॉन्ग आंसर करेक्ट ऑप्शन वंदना सिंह द वुमेन हु थॉट शी वॉज अ प्लेनेट है कॉम्बिनेशन अगेन बट दी Identify the combination that belong to the genre of the sci-fi speculation fiction. Take a speculation essay, speculation fiction. Up sci-fi, so समझ ही गए होंगे जो science पे आधारित है, science पे based है. Speculative fiction ऐसा है, which does not based on reality. ठीक है, उसमें कुछ ऐसा है ही नहीं. तो इसमें ये sci-fi novel है आपका मंदना सिंह का. This is the right one. Tamina Durrani Blasphemy. एक हिस्टोरिकल आपका वर्क है ये सलमान रशदी सैटनिक वर्स इज अ नॉट द स्पेकुलेटिव फिक्शन इवन दो दे आर समथिंग इट इज द मैजिकल रियलिज्म राइट बट इसमें रियलिटी भी होता है आपका जनरेशन 14 इज द वन व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन द स्पेकुलेटिव फिक्शन द वॉल इज द स्पेकुलेटिव फिक्शन सो डी ई एंड ए आर द राइट वन एंड द राइट आंसर इज बीइंग गिवन ठीक है स्पॉन्डे में क्या होता है थ्री स्ट्रेस नहीं होते टू स्ट्रेस्ड होते हैं टू स्ट्रेस लेबल होते हैं तो ये रॉन्ग है फायरिक फिरिक इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू अनस्ट्रेस यस इट डस एफ मेसो थ्री सिलेबल्स होते हैं इसमें होते हैं ये राइट है फुट ऑफ वर्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू स्ट्रेस सिलेबल्स एंड क्लोजिंग टू अनस्ट्रेस सिलेबल्स ठीक है इसमें फोर सिलेबल्स होते हैं फोर सिलेबल्स होते हैं वी हैव ट्रोशेक इट हैज अ स्ट्रेस सिलेबल एंड द अनस्ट्रेस वन इट इज द राइट वन इट इज राइट बी इज राइट सी इज राइट ई इज राइट बी इज राइट सी इज राइट ई इज राइट राइट आंसर इज दिस वन मेलकम ब्रेडबरी David Lodge, Kingsley M.S., C.P. Snow. How much work you know here? How many works you know here? You must be concerned about this writer, David Lodge. You must know him. He wrote the Changing Places. Kingsley M.S. Know the Lucky Jim. These two maybe we know only, right? C or B. Now we're going to match it very easily if we found these two one. C is. C is. C is. Ah, uh, C is two. C is two, C is two. So this is the right one. A is three, B is I V, B is I V, right? C is two, D is one. Malcolm Bradbury is then. Malcolm A is three then. The history man. Okay. All right. So this is the right one. Right answer is being given. Which among the following is appropriate? About Nugugi Vathiyango's article, literature in schools. आपको थोड़ा यहाँ पे समझना भी होता है. अब आपको यहाँ पे अपनी अकल का इस्तेमाल भी करना है कि Nugugi Vathiyango क्या कर सकते थे, किस तरह का शास्त्र लिख सकते थे, किस तरह का work लिख सकते थे. Literature in schools is ऐसे बाय हैं. Nugugi Vathiyango stopped writing in English and start writing in his own language, Giyuki. Right? Giyuku. Giyuku is the language he started to write then. The article discusses the relevance and adequacy of the present education system. ये कहता है कि जो present education system है वो सही है, adequate है, पर्याप्त है उतना ही चाहिए. Now it can be possible, obviously हम सोच सकते हैं कि obviously ऐसा तो हो ही नहीं सकता 
जो प्रेजेंट एजुकेशन सिस्टम है वो रेलिवेंट है एंड ही इज ए अफ्रीकन राइटर केनियन राइटर सो ऑब्वियसली नॉट द राइट वन ए डिनाई कर दीजिए ए को एलिमिनेट कर दीजिए जहां जहां भी ए है उसे एलिमिनेट ओके दिस इज हाउ मेक इट ईजी इट एडवोकेट्स टीचिंग ऑफ यूरोपियन टेक्स्ट एंड लिटरेचर टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द थर्ड वर्ल्ड कंट्रीज इट एडवोकेट्स टीचिंग ऑफ यूरोपियन टेक्स्ट एंड द लिटरेचर टू द स्टूडेंट थर्ड वर्ल्ड ऑब्वियसली थर्ड वर्ल्ड कंट्रीज हैं जो कॉलोनियल रहे ठीक है जिन्हें सप्रेस्ड किया गया कंट्रोल किया गया गुलाम रखा गया यूरोपियन टेक्स्ट उन्हें पढ़ाए जाते हैं राइट वन है इट एडवोकेट्स द टीचिंग ऑफ द यूरोपियन टेक्स्ट एंड लिटरेचर टू दिस उनकी स्टडीज को ये एडवोकेट करेंगे सोचिए जरा इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स नेगेटिवली अपॉन द लिटरेचर टॉट टू दिनियन स्टूडेंट यस इट शुड इट आर्ग्यू दट कल्चरल इंपीरियलिज्म डिस्टॉट पीपल्स विजन ऑफ हिस्ट्री यस सर इट डज इट डज सी एंड डी आर द करेक्ट वन C and D are the correct one. Then we have here. It observe that European teachers are better equipped to teach literature to the Kenyan student. No, they are not. So then we have here B, we have C, we have D. The right one. The right answer is being given. Let's move ahead. <clears throat> then we have O Henry. Rudyard Kipling wrote the last suite. Oscar Wilde wrote at Verona. O Henry wrote hard to forget. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote the beauty. American literature work question. British literature work question. American literature. American or British को साथ किया गया. B का है one. B का one यहाँ पे है. B का one यहाँ पे है. C का है three. C का है थ्री यहां पे C का है थ्री ओके दिस इज द राइट वन ओके गुड राइट आंसर इज बी गिवन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द अमित घोष आई बेस्ट रियोलॉजी सी ऑफ पॉप इज इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इट रिवर ऑफ स्मोक इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इट फ्लड ऑफ फायर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इट कलकत्ता क्रोमोसोम इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ इट द राइट आंसर इज बींग गिवन A man can be destroyed but not defeated. Which of the following text glorifies this as its predominant theme? देखो यहाँ पे क्या कहा गया कि man can be destroyed. ये सही वक्त पे कहा है net के students के लिए कि हम आपको क्या कर सकते हैं तबाह कर सकते हैं बेशक पर आप हार नहीं मानते आप बार बार appear होते हैं ये कहा गया ये line लिखी गई है specially for us. A man can be destroyed. Destroyed हो सकता है destroyed कर सकते हैं हम आपको कि net के students को एनटी क्या कर देगा डिस्ट्रॉयड कर देगा बट नॉट डिफीटेड पर उन्हें हरा नहीं सकते बार बार पेपर देने आते हैं जब तक जेआरएफ नहीं होता तब तक देते हैं और भूपेश शर्मा जैसे लोग उन बच्चों की सहायता करते हैं ओल्ड मैन इन द सी 1954 आल्सो गॉट द नोबेल प्राइज फॉर दिस वन अर्नेस्ट हेमिंगवे राइट राइट आंसर इज बीइंग गिवन Who among the following is not a recipient of the Nobel Prize for Literature? Winston Churchill, he got the prize. T. S. Eliot got the prize. W. H. Auden did not got the prize. So this is the answer here. Now we have the comprehensions here. Thug gaye aap log? Are you still interested in reading this, or should we do this in the another video? is it okay if we start reading it it will take some time it will take some time or we can take a, on a separate you know class on it separately we can make another video specially on it with a free mind we going to read it but sir paper mein to aisa hota nahi hai paper mein to free time ke liye waqt hi nahi milta itna lamba video bhi ban gaya hai will you be watching to this video till now agar aap mein se koi bhi dekh raha hai so so just let me know i will make another video specially on the on the on these comprehensions which were asked in this video mujhe pata hai video lamba hota hai bacche apna interest kho dete hain that is the main reason we will read it in our another video then okay and then we will come back all right aap bhi thoda thak gaye honge padh ke you have just given your net examination to thoda rejuvenate hoiye thoda black tea pijiye and we will come back with the सेकेंड uh, जो आपका शिफ्ट है उसका भी हम क्वेश्चन पेपर एनालिसिस करेंगे बट आई मेक यू शो बिफोर दिस आई विल डू दिस कॉम्प्रीहेंशन फॉर यू आई विल ऑल्सो टेल यू हाउ यू शुड सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ओके आई होप यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल सो मेक श्योर यू शेयर सब्सक्राइब विद एवरी वन 
ask every student of UGC net English to subscribe to the Bhupesh Sharma sir channel my professor note he provides the top-notch quality study material that we do a lot of our students most of our st uh, students have attempted 50 plus questions that much I know there are a lot of students who bought the uh, the study material towards the very end of their uh, of this exam you know when there were only few days left so they are scoring around like 43 plus or 44 plus this much capable we have made them okay so with the right guidance right strategy right approach we can crack any exam thanks for watching my professor no this is Bupesh Sharma we soon will be back with another relevant video till then time keep learning